Well, hello there. My name is Brandon Jones. I'm about to play a game I did not know about until Daniel Bloodworth asked me, would I be interested in playing a role-playing Western game on the Nintendo Switch? And I said, Daniel Bloodworth, I will. Hi, everybody. I'm Brandon Jones. Hope everything looks okay, sounds okay. Boot Hill Bounties is the game, and it is available currently on your Nintendo Switch. Launch this week. Let's check it out. I, I, I know nothing. I've seen one screenshot. Uh, and I was told, and this is from the, the, this is PR, okay? I was told this is a mix of Red Dead Redemption and Earthbound. Two games that are hard to beat, I gotta be honest. <laughs> but, uh, it should be a fun turn-based, uh, RPG. Siren, D user X, Mo, D Mo Doctor, Half Queso, Berg, Berg, Berg. So many subs, Swordfish, thank you for subbing everybody. Ham Chop, Silver Citizen, Wiseg01. Terami Creant, Terumi Chiront. There it is. A new game we will start. Just a couple hours. Let's check out Boot Hill Bounties. Will this be my most played game currently on Nintendo Switch? It will not. Because I play a good amount of Animal Crossing every day. Oh boy. Here we go. I like the scenery. Uh oh. Oh no. That's me, I'm kid. Alright, alright. Found a hand weapon. And I found knickerbockers. It's time to plan our next move. Let's all meet at Ghost Rock tomorrow night. Rosie. All right, all right. Yeah, let me, okay. So Y brings up your menu, okay, okay, okay. Equip, I got my Stetson on. My green, my green is, I got my knickerbockers. Uh, do I have some stats assigned to these things? E12 and E9. I do not know what that means. All right. Materials. Okay. Vantages. Are these like my abilities? Smash dodge. Beagle Bay. Is that my dog? Get involved. Stats. Okay. All right, here we go. Well, I like the environment. It's just a hyena. No big drama. Oh. Yes. They say ghost rock stirs something in the wildlife here. That coyote looks poised to attack. Sounds like a tutorial battle. Uh-oh. Whoa, I thought that... Whoa! <laughs> oh. So I got ATB, but all of my abilities have ATB. That's interesting. Kid. Don't panic. I've seen you take on deadlier animals than this coyote. But if you need a combat explanation, I'm here to remind you how this works. Why not? Let's start with an overview of what we're looking at here. Here's your enemy, this menacing coyote. This red bar represents the coyote's health. Right on. This blue bar represents the coyote's power. Power is spent to perform actions in battle called vantages. Normally, power gradually fills up in real time. However, I have things paused at the moment. It's a good battle theme. Here's your own health bar. Excellent. You have full health. And here's your own power bar. Unless there's an unusual effect in play, everyone's power generates at the same rate. These are the actions you can use in this fight. We call them vantages. These numbers are the power costs for each vantage. Right on. How much my total power? 
Also, each Vantage has its own smaller blue power under it. Yeah, yeah. This is just to show how close you are to having enough power to execute that Vantage. Okay. Try using the Vantage Smash. It's a simple attack using your hand weapon. Press A to select Smash, and then press A to get and confirm your target. Executing Smash costs three Vantage Points. Okay. But since you don't have three Vantage Points at this time, you simply go into this charging state. Alright. I'm going to unpause the battle so your power can charge. Once your power is charged to three, you'll automatically spin it to execute Smash. Bam! Well, and that, the point flew at me. You see that? The coyote is dead. Now let's wait a moment and see what the coyote does. Now, the coyote would hit you with his attack. Scratch. I used to scratch in my first battle. You see this little blinking silver here on the coyote's power bar? This indicates the power cost for the vantage the coyote is planning next. Once the coyote's power bar fills up to this point, the coyote will execute this vantage. We don't know what vantage the coyote is planning, but we can gauge how dangerous it'll be based on the power cost. I'd say, just from eyeballing it here, that the silver, the sliver, sorry, <laughs> there's silver in them bars. The sliver is at the four power mark. The most important tip I can give you is to be aware of when your enemy's attacks will execute. So keep an eye on this sliver. To prepare for an incoming attack, you can use dodge to try to evade the attack. Yeah, why not? Go ahead and execute the dodge vantage now. Dodge it. Boy. Now you have the dodging stance active. Stances are conditions that last for a while. In this case, dodging will cause you to automatically attempt to evade physical attacks coming your way. Dodging isn't always successful. It depends on your dexterity and the accuracy of the attack. And luck, of course. Coyote will soon execute his attack and we'll see if your dodge is successful. You'll also see the success rate. Oh boy. I don't want to do Beagle Bay next, but we'll see. You'll continue to dodge any other incoming attacks until your dodging stance wears off. Dodging is useful because not only do you avoid damage, you caused an enemy to waste their power. Let's wait and see what the coyote does next. It's a mean looking coyote. Can I smash it, please? Oh, my dodge is wearing off. Whoa! Now it looks like the coyote is dodging. Oh, sorry. You could use a vantage like Beagle Bay, which can cause an enemy to stagger. A staggering target cannot use any stances, including dodge. Thank you, Dancing Flower, for that reset. Of course, Beagle Bay costs power, so uh, to use, they could otherwise be spent on simply attacking, so it's a tough call. This is what it's all about, kid. Victory is determined by deciding what vantage to use and when to use it. But in this case, I want you to use Beagle Bay so you can see how it works. I so want to use Beagle Bay. Here it goes. My tiny little pixel pup <laughs> runs into this giant monster. Beagle Bay worked, and now the coyote is stacked. He is, that's for sure. He can't use any stance like dodge until it wears off. It's important to know what your advantages do. Go to tackle and press X to check where it does. Heavy melee damage, 25% stack. There's a lot more I could teach you. But it looks like you've got the brass tags of combat. Remember, the secret to winning battles is understanding what actions to do and when you should use each action. Keep an eye on power bars to see when battle participants are going to execute vantages. Oh, one more thing. You can pause and unpause the battle clock here by pressing Y. Nice. While it is paused, power bars will not charge, but you can still choose your vantages and targets. Nice. Pause the battle clock even when things get hectic. So, uh, sorry, when things get hectic, so you can carefully plan your strategy. But then, when you're ready, just press Y to unpause the battle clock. I've been pausing the battle clock during this tutorial. I love how he keeps leaving and then coming back. Press Y to unpause the battle clock. And then I'll let you continue fighting the coyote on there. And if you want to try this tutorial again, just ask for us. Get enough of that tackle, though. Probably should dodge again. All right, everybody. What's my experience with Earthbound? I just watched uh, Bloodworth play Earthbound. 
that I have never played Earthbound. Earthbound looks like fun. It also looks just a little stressful because it's... Um, I get a little stressed when I play comedic games like that because I don't know what to do. And the game is kind of intentionally, like, making it very strange what to do. And so that strangeness is tough for me, too. I need guides when I play a lot of games like that. Kaboom! I took a fair amount of damage on that one. Oh, I didn't... Yeah, I got hit here before. There we go. Bam! Coyote slinks off to survive another day. Well, oh, interesting. Melee master, what's that? Kid only used melee attacks. Oh, okay. Grade D. All right. Yee! Oh, no, your equipment levels up. My Stetson leveled up. Did you schedule a time to watch a goofy movie yet? I have not. No. Is that on Disney Plus? Or is it just my hat that levels up? Oh, there he goes. He yelled all that stuff across the river. Where's my horse? I don't want a horse. Horses are cool. Kid. Looks like you got Rosie's letter too. former doctor who came out west to practice medicine but found only tragedy. He joined the Boot Hill Posse to bring down the Saints' little gang, but his ideals clashed with Sheriff Howells. Doc's regret over allowing the Saints' little gang to escape has consumed him for ten years, turning him into a grim bounty hunter. Love it. Oh, flashback? I first met Kid in Smellsville when that card shark Monty Spade swindled the boy out of a week's pay. I couldn't talk Kid out of messing with a member of the Saints Little Gang, so we agreed to follow Monty Spades together into the Whisker Woods. That's when Kid overheard the truth about the attack on Ashwood. <laughs> Saints Little Gang were the real culprits. They framed the Chipokin. The Chipokwick? The Chipokwick. Chipakwick. But why did the Saints Little Gang come out of hiding after ten years to frame the Indians? <laughs> well, that... Uh, didn't have a chance to reckon on that. We got separated when Kid pursued Monty Spades alone down the Snake Tail River. <laughs> Look at that. Sun's coming up and Rosie and Moon still aren't here. Aw, oh, look at me. Huh, huh. Yeah, this could have been a trap. Whose idea was it to meet up here at Ghost Rock anyway? You think that letter from Rosie was fake? This is a good place away from town for us to meet in secret. But it's also a fine spot for an ambush. You might be right. But let's look for him. Find out what's going on. When you get a nickname like Kid, how long do you keep your kid? Oh, he's nice and he falls behind me. I dig it. I don't know why I'm flashing like that. Weird. Um, can I run? No, I can't. I found an apple. Hopefully my dog is still with me. Tay Tay on Twitch? Well, thank you. Yes! <laughs> Woo wee! Look out, kid. These rabbits mean business. <laughs> and he can blast? Cool. You smash that, you blast that. Yeah, boom. Pump. <laughs> there are very goofy sound effects in this. I was not prepared for the, uh, um, boing. A lot of that stuff. Oh, pumping. Okay, so that's not, I thought that might have been like a, a shotgun or something, but, all right. 
They'll let us pass now. I got an A that time, all right. I'm an eager beef. I like these little, uh... Oh, Kid Stetson's now level two. Unlock the vantage. Kick! Power cost two, weak physical damage. Okay. Oh, well, that was... That was... This is sudden. Yeah, I don't... I guess smash? Dodge seems pretty nice to have. And no way I'm dropping that from a beagle. Why not? Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Rusty has his own dialogue. Oh, there you are. Sorry, I got tired of waiting for Doc to finish his story, and I wandered off. <laughs> what should Rusty sound like? I found some things around here that you might find useful, but you have to do something for me first. <laughs> Read a challenge? There, I just gave you a fiendish challenge that you must complete before I give you anything. <laughs> I'll just rest here until you solve it. <laughs> Good luck, kid. <laughs> All right. Rusty's challenges. First challenge is to access the pause menu and read this challenge. In fact, by reading this right now, you've just completed the challenge. Good job. That's <laughs> good. What? You finished already? Well, deal's a deal. Here's what I promised. Hmm, I thought you'd have more trouble with that challenge. But don't worry, that was the first of many challenges I'm thinking of for you. Whenever I think of a new challenge, I'll send you a message at the bottom of the screen. Oh, I just thought of some. You can see the details for each challenge and keep track of which ones you've completed in the Rusty Challenge menu. Whenever you complete a challenge comes to me and I'll give you the treats that I find. Wow, Rusty's talking to Why am I making you do this? Well, dog owners have been making their dogs do tricks and rewarding them with treats for ages. Good point. <laughs> what? His face is... Maybe I just get some sick thrill out of seeing our roles reversed. Oh, you silly pup. All right. Um... Operations. Okay, okay. I kind of want battles to go fast, but let's keep it. Let's keep where it is for now. Moccasins. Oh, look at all these other... Wait, did I do it? See a vantage description. No, and what your vantages do is the key... Oh, vantage description. X is considered the inquire button. Try pressing X when your cursor is pointed to a vantage in battle. Oh, in battle. Okay. Like this thing. Okay, let's go. He's so cute. I love him. Oh, more rabbits. Pulveraz! This family here is challenging us for their for this territory. <laughs> okay, hopefully that did that. I'm gonna kick that one. Cold cock that one. I love all these, like, animal agreements. 
<laughs> I'm a pretty civil cowboy. Whoa, I did a lot of things that one. Got an A, nice. And he has a fedora, okay. All right. Swellsville. I thought it said Smellsville. Ghost Rock. Oh, my dog has moved on. But, what, but I finished the check. Good, I did them both. Okay. Get over here, you rabbit! <laughs> I barked at that funny white rabbit! Now it's come back with friends for a fact! barrage of the squirrel over here. Acrobatics. Oh, man. Whoa. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I scattered that rodent way over there by that tree. <laughs> the rodents have scattered. Won't bother us no more. Three, all right. I got a tumble. Sure. Wow, my hat's leveling up real quick. How long has he been doing this voice? Feather. Oh, there's another feather down here. Hey, over here! Hmm. What happened to the bridge? Chipakwick took it out yesterday. Sorry, it'll take me a couple days to fix it. Hmm, yeah, why did they? We're a ways from the valley. Any reason there would be hostile Chipakwick? Chipakwick? Chipakwick in this area? Couldn't tell you. My only job is to maintain this bridge to Swellsville. Keeping me and my kin out of this bickering with the Indians. We're looking for a girl with red hair. Have you seen her around? You mean Rosie? Yeah, she's hunkering with my kin on this side till I get this bridge repaired. Cabin's just a bit southeast of here, but you'll have to find a way across. You said that Chipakwe destroyed this bridge. Was there a girl with them? A squaw, huh? Not likely these look like fighting bucks to me. I don't have any more questions. I'm gonna go discover my way personally, you know. I need his tip. Toggle Vantage Info. Have a second player join. I believe this is co-op. I will not be doing co-op. Maybe I'll do co-op again later. I'm doing co-op now. When Vantage Info is set to on, you can see a description of every Vantage an enemy uses in battle the first time they use it. I don't just power, but this might also start to get in your way and slow things down. You can turn the Vantage Info off from the pause menu. Do it. Oh, okay. There, did I do your challenge? Or on from the pause menu. Okay, I did. I did it. But there, I'll turn. I'll turn it on. There, there we go. Oh, so the ingredients all flash. This is as fast as I can move. There's no running for me, and that is not an item I can pick up. What's up here? Is that it? Alright. Hmm. Is this the thing? Nope. Alright. Oops, 
And a fish? Yes! Can I fight that fish in the water? Yes! <laughs> These fish are riled up by the disharmony of the river. Yes. I kicked that fish. We are kicking fish here on Twitch.tv. So that's easy. Boom! I created that fish! Don't make me tumble with you, fish. Or I'm tumble. Oh no, what's tumble? Evade next physical attack, but lose all power and drops down. Oh, okay. I guess some fish must try to swim upstream. Alright, Dr. Dordan is now level 2. Unlock the Vantage Bounty. Bounty, power cost 4. Regain power if this attack defeats the target. Oh, okay. I think I'm good. I think I'm a little too excited with these new abilities. I think I gotta slow down. Oh, it's Moon, I think. Moon Dancer. There you are. Uh oh. Aich? Behind you. More psycho fish. Oh no! These spork bills think they're competing for the fish here. Archery, yes! It's like super tiny. I want to <laughs> Lunar Crush? I don't have a lot of time to do that. But... Oh no. Ugh. Nice. It's tricky because I'm used to, you know, setting a character to do something in battle and then moving on to the next thing, whereas it immediately goes to cancel, and so I just, I keep hitting A and canceling stuff. The Sporkbills flew away to find a new source of food. Isn't this nice? We're not actually, you know, really hurting anybody. Kid Stetson's now level 4! Unlock the Vantage Trip. Opponent loses one power and chooses another action to charge. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll do that instead of tumble. I'm getting all sorts of crazy things. Do I have, do I have, a, do I have a potion or something like that? All right. A rebellious Chapatwick who defied the orders of the chief, her father, and abandoned her tribe in order to follow a path she believes in. She possesses both a warrior spirit and a sage's deep reverence for nature. Moondancer's strong will has created conflict between her obligations to her people Bullets Chase, thank you. Aw. I found Kid washed up near the Chapaquick Valley after his encounter with Monty Spades. He explained to me that the Saint's little gang was responsible for the attack and had framed the Chapaquick. I brought Kid to my Vanqua to explain the situation. However, there was a lot of discussion about what the Chapaquick should do. Led by our medicine man's prophecy, many Chapaquick were eager for war, while others hoped we could clear our name and find peace. I, snu I love these stories. I snuck out of my village with Kid, determined to meet with his people, despite the orders of my Vanqua. Yanqua? Yanqua? Who is this guy? We nearly died in the Desert of Fool's Feast. Thankfully, we were picked up by a traveling circus. Yeah, I should say. However, in exchange for transportation, we agreed to assist with the show. Oh, please. Oh, I thought we were going to get a picture of that stage. I was trying to listen to the river. But you two make such noise, it's no wonder the animals get so disturbed by your presence. 
You're waiting all night at Ghost Rock while you were listening to the river? Don't you know that your pack would have destroyed the bridge? No. I was hoping the river could tell me why my people would do this. It speaks incessantly. The water exclaims as it crashes against every rock and twig. I listen to these arguments and learn. But today it sounds different. Better than just asking a person? People can only reveal truth as they see it. But Atonkwa, the great voice from the earth, shows us pure truth. Then, look. There are logs caught in a waterfall. They're creating new conversations with the water. That's why the Snake Tail River sounds different today. This must have something to do with why the Chipotle destroyed the bridge. We might be able to use that old tree to cross the river. Let's keep moving. We still haven't found Rosie. What's going on here? Whoa! Snappy Turtle! Thought I was stepping on a rock, but now this turtle's hopping mad! Extra power for getting the jump on this enemy, sweet. Cover some HP of a party member, nice. Right at dodge. Lunar crush. This turtle's preparing for a 10 power attack. We should try to be evading before it hits. Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at that. Rut row. Well, I guess I can cancel it. Lick? Nope. Steal the kid. Kid taking most of the damage in this fight. Oh, that's cool. Is this like a boss fight, you think? You reckon? Flying in, I love it. Wow, this thing's pretty tough. This turtle's preparing for a 10 power attack. Let's try to be evading before it hits. Alright.
Whoa, oh, whoa! Oh, it just auto revives. Thank you for still warning us of that, even though you are currently indisposed. You just automatically come back, huh? Okay, okay. Turtle has agreed to be a stepping stone. <laughs> this is basically just us. This game is just us going into nature and just making friends with nature, you know? Docks with doors now level 3. Unlock the vantage. Protect. Leap in front of attacks on her party members. Ooh. Yeah. We might get rid of pump there and try that one. All these new arrows. Flame arrow! Ugh! Oh, Medium damage range attack with a fair chance to send a blaze. Mmm. Might be doing flame arrow instead of lunar crash. Sorry. Deluxe vantage. You can now beetle bay to any of kids' hats. Oh, nice. I love the hats, like, have so much power. Okay. But. No, don't rip what? No. Do people do we start each battle with full health? We got no food. No medicine. Okay. Got lots of treasure. Oh no, here we go. Oh no! We need to cross the creek, but the path is blocked by a beaver dam. I can see. Oh yeah, we start full health. Nice. I got flame arrow on one of these guys for sure. Vantage Menji, you can change in the well. Okay, cool. But there's only one, that's nice. Garage, this guy. Oh wow, they are all prepping a pretty powerful attack here. I'm not Uzi. If you're paying attention, I'm not wiping out every animal. I am. I am uh, making peace with these animals. Although it does seem like I'm shooting at them. <laughs> Apparently, I'm, this is just how you negotiate with the animal kingdom. The world of boot hill bounties.
stick for it. Oh no. Let me get him before he does that. Stick for it! <laughs> I mean he's not taking any damage. Stick for it! Don't worry, the beavers can rebuild their home. See? There's nothing, nothing to worry about. I love this game is so silly, but it's like, but. You know, we can joke all day. Oops, did not mean to do that. Dr. Door is now level 4. Unlock the vantage. Counter. Counter attack with a basic attack when hit. Fun. I'll do that instead of cold car. A fifth vantage can be added to the Stetson. Nice. Got smash back. It's leveling up fast. Um, I just want to change the order, but I'm not going to sweat that. I'll figure that out later. Nice, got food finally. Uh oh, scorpions. Here we go. Oh, what's up, Jess? You got a problem? You got a problem with the uh, the fur here? I'm just getting into character today. These are these are funny looking scorpions. You disturb these elderly grand prawns as they were easing into a hot bath. But I didn't mean to. What's up, Jess? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, thank you. I see what you did there. Increases material drop rate for party. Oh, okay. I can load up like several kicks at once, I guess. Whoa! And we set him on fire. A lot of RPGs I've played, you wait to do the ability, and this you do the ability and then wait for it to actually happen. They're annoyed by my youthful vigor. I got an S on that one, oh boy. I think it's because of that crit. Okay. Meditate. Alright, increases chance to cause status to cause status ailments and recover from your status ailments more quickly. Hey. Yeah. I'm good. I'm just stuff for now. Any of Doc's habits. Deluxe Vantage. You can now add a trip to any of the kids' hats. Nice. Boy, these hats are leveling up fast, everybody. Whoop! Four claws and a whisker! Yeehaw! An archer who meditates. Yeah, I'm, uh, the, she's a keeper. <laughs> she's, she will not be leaving my party. Um... Mm -mm. Although, I definitely get archery back in there. I, think I, I do have smash though. Yes. Alright. Right. Interesting, I don't have to worry about healing. I'm also playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, and you gotta worry about healing a lot. <laughs> Interesting, in between battles, they just, like, they just recover. Oh. Hey, you. Hey, you crazy fish! Picking a fight with fish, I love... So good. Smack you for... Get over here, fish! I wouldn't think I could do a fire arrow on these guys, but I guess. I'm a 
gonna smash you and then I'm gonna kick you. The old smash kick. Don't make me kick you again. Swimming? Uh oh. Okay? Got him. Bam! Bam! Flame arrow! Yeah, flame arrow didn't do a whole lot. And you stumbled! Alright! The river creatures retreat back into the muddy water. See, everybody wins. I get the XP, they get to live and fight another day. I kind of phase out of existence there a little bit. Oh! Whoa! How about that? We made it. Oh, hi there, strangers. Mercy me! There's another Indian. Don't worry, Miss Talmadge. Moon Dancer is a Chapaquick princess. She's not here to harm you. I'm not a princess. I am simply the daughter of the Peace Chief, but we have no concept of royal blood. Doc Finch, what are you doing here? Doc, oh, to, from one doc to another. Doc, doc. Connor Talmadge was attacked by the Chapaquick while trying to repair the bridge. Yeah. I came to attend to him. He looks like a, a fancy lad. He must be Rose's friends. She's inside my home looking after the little one. Come on, I, I just baked some cornbread. Cornbread, everybody! Mm-mm-mm! Mm -mm. I want cornbread. <laughs> nice. I was hoping I could pet them, but... I'll take some eggs and some cheese. I'll be okay. Doc Finch patched me up. Just need to rest for a few days. Looks like that bridge will have to wait. How did you, how did you get injured? I typically charge for my services, but these people need your help. Or you have any wounds, I can remove them for free. Oh, I'm good. Oh, I hate to see Doc out there in such bad shape. Come talk to me and I'll patch you up for free. Tell him just offered me some food, so I'm taking a load off here. Rosie's downstairs. Okay. Treats. I found this thing. Maybe it's something you can use. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Oh, and, and I save with you? Okay, cool. There, save your game. <laughs> cool. Other than some unruly wildlife, we've never had any kind of attempt like this. My husband was put here to maintain the bridge, not to fight up safe. Okay, I guess we gotta talk to you. Okay. I typically charge for my services, but these people need your help. Okay, if you have any wounds, I can remove them for you. I don't think we do, but look, I guess we have to like learn. Madstone rub. Ooh. Do I have no money? Okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> Ma'am, excuse me, can I? Totally stuck. Glad I just saved the game. Uh, I'm not kidding, folks. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. I love a new game. I know, Greta. Greta, I know. They, like, apparently also wouldn't let me go downstairs. He was like, no, 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 I gotta do a thing with Doc. But, like, I don't have any money to buy anything, so I don't know what they wanted me to do there. Okay, fun. Is there a way I can move a game? No, it doesn't do that. I bring up this guy. Zoom game. Quit game. Sure. Just saved it. Whoa, I hate to see Doc go out there in such bad shape. Okay, so I, I can't forget, I forget whose Doc is who. So Doc Finch is on my, my guy's Doc Finch. Come talk to me and I'll patch you up for free. Yeah, so they, they're like, hey, go see what's her name, she's downstairs. And then I go downstairs and they're like, no, 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 no. I typically charge for my services, but these people need your, oh, okay, if any of you have any wounds, I can remove them for free, okay. And then I don't, I don't know. Med kit, I guess? Okay. Well, there we go. Okay. Does that do it? Just need to rest for a few days. Looks like that bridge will have to wait. Okay. Okay, no. I had to see Moon go out there in such bad shape. Okay, come talk. Oh, okay, so every... So people have things that they need. Okay. Oh, it's down there in the bottom. Okay, sorry. So I can see what weird little wound you have. What strange... Th there we go. We both have canine madness. Okay, sorry. There we go. Sorry about that. A horse with black and white stripes. You mean like a skunk? No way. I ain't buying, Miss Rosie. I daren't be fibbing, you boy. Used to work in a circus. I've seen all sorts of things like that. First of all, nice. what are trappings? Whoa! You gained a level for your hat and learned advantage that you already knew? Except this is... This time there's a... something next to it? You must be confused, but allow me to explain. This is called a deluxe vantage. You know, you can only set your active vantages just with the vantages unlocked for your currently equipped hat. I mean, I'm learning this. <laughs> Not true with deluxe vantages. A deluxe vantage can be set with any hat. Alright. Wow, Rusty talks a lot. Okay, okay, all right, Rusty, okay. Wow. Healed by a town doctor, that didn't, yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, so then he, uh, our doc learns that, so then he can do that later, okay, cool. Set a deluxe vantage, toggle vantage info. Can I not do that? But give me a break, this is the Wild West after all. <laughs> I've definitely paused the battle clock. I have 100% pause the battle clock many times. Do I have to like, do I have to like talk to Rusty first and then do it? Menu management doesn't have to be a chore even with multiple players. Open character menu simultaneously. A player can even navigate their menus while the lead character is walking the party. Don't believe me? Give it a try. Well, I don't have. That at least I can do, and probably should. 
trappings, eh? Doc is already wearing the... Oh, okay. the new thing that I unlocked. Okay. Okay, not sure how to access that, pup. It's not in a, as a treasure. of those. Hmm. Go check stats? Kid Greenhorn. Alright, I don't have time for your silly challenges right now. Got some honey. Got some flour. Alright. Whoa! Well, paint me green, call me a cucumber! Golly, Jim and Infinite, Doc Moon and Kid. Yeah. The party's coming together. It only took us an hour. The firecracker rodeo gal was spitting spirit. Her family died in the attack on Ashwood, but she maintains a relentlessly cheerful attitude. Rosie's fearlessness and brash behavior may be hiding something. Oh. All right. First met Kid briefly in Swalesville, but that coincidence I met him again in that traveling circus. But by coincidence, I met him again at that traveling circus where I was working as a line tamer for Mad Earl McGovern. I love all these different environments early on. Kid helped me track down my lions after someone had secretly released them from their cages. Wow, look at all this. It was Monta Spades! That fellow then tried to sick my own lions on me when I was doing a performance. Thankfully, you three showed up in the nick of time to save me. Man, Monty Spades, I can't wait to bump into him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Monty Spades is dead, apparently. We beat Monty together and he met an accidental grizzly end. Uh-oh. His luck finally ran out. We made it back to Swellsville to tell the sheriff about the Saints Little Gang and the attack on Ashwood. He didn't think it would do any good unless he had proof. We all decided to track down the Saints Little Gang ourselves, capture him, and get him to confess. It's the only way to stop this war from tearing our country apart, you hear? War? War is a little intense. Y'all looking a bit older since I last laid eyes on you. You slicking your hair back with bear grease? Rosie, do you know anything about the Chapakwik who attacked Mr. Talmud? Nah. I was just chewing the rag with this button until you got here. What are we waiting for? Let's go check it out. Just like old times. Oh, yes, please. Use inquire button on enemy change battle speed. Okay. Oh, wait. Look at that party. Yeah. Hopefully my dog comes with me. I don't know. My dog seems pretty pretty confident. Help! Oh, please, somebody help! Got the whole party together. We are in prime condition to help. Came from up the road. Probably at the bridge. Voice sounded a lot familiar. It could be another attack. Let's hurry. <coughs> Rusty, man. Second fox, and just grab this thing. All right, fox. That is a normal-looking fox. The fox was hunting the rabbit. Now they're both after us. I like the context for every fight. It's not that I can just fight something. Whip.
now I've completed it. Uh, tumble, evade next physical attack. We'll lose all time. Okay. Causes paralysis. Ooh. Let's try the hog tie. Hog tie that rabbit. We paralyzed that rabbit. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, that's the final ingredient to a successful team. Fighting a rabbit, fighting a rabbit. Somebody was at the bridge and they need help. Fighting a rabbit, fighting a rabbit. There we go. Without our weapons, we would have had no chance. Oh, so what? Did we actually kill both of them? Moon? Moon won't say specifically. Moon's headband. Nice. Nice. Pump has been handed back. Nice. Koi Fox and Jack Hare. These names pop up actually while we're fighting them. Those are some fun names. Get that apple. Get that apple. Mmm, some larva. Go through. Oh, uh oh. Oh no. Were you attacked by this devilish chipmunk? Oh, I guess they're foxes. Look like these mean old foxes. Oh. These mean old foxes are picking on this here hurt fella. Listen here, mean old foxes. I'll have none of this. Electrocuted, apparently? What is going on over there? Kicking the fox. Whoa. Easy, Rosie. Wee. 
Remember X to see what moves do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure what Trip does. Yeah, might as well. I love the sway back and forth of the enemies. It's very silly. Boom! That'll teach him. Gotta see. I'll take it. Oh, his hat's leveling up like crazy. Whip crack. Oh, definitely whip crack. Dust stops fun. Tumble, uh, tumbles, whatever. Okay. All right. Got a fang out of it too. What's up, Mister? Oh, I just did. Oh, okay. Packwick are going crazy! Oh, please! These terrible engines have destroyed the bridge and set an ambush for me! War Chief Yellow Cloud, why are you attacking this man? <laughs> this thief and his people have been chopping down trees on our land, using the Snake Tail River to carry them to the Hatchip. The Hatchip? The Hatchip City. I've always taken lumber from the Chipakwik Valley, and none of you Indians ever gave me trouble before. That was past. Today we are at war with Hatchep. These Koka trespassed on our land and desecrated our forests. He will be our prisoner now. Oh. Tensions are high enough as it is with this war. An attack like this is only going to lead to more violence on both sides. This war has already started. There is death on both sides now. The cause of this conflict is no longer important to me. Am I not Dakwa of our chief, Flying Trout? Will you not heed my command to cease this attack and return to the Valley Yellow Cloud? I don't think you will. The Peace Chief no longer holds sway among the Chipakwik. <gasps> His attempt to placate Hatchep like this has dishonored us. Now I leave the Chipakwik. Oh no! you oppose me, then you are a Kenchado. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know why I would use menus. Let's do it. Oh no, folks. Whoa! Moondancer, I won't let you stand in our way. Wow, things escalated quickly. Under my leadership, the Chipotle are invincible. Yeah, maybe. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um... I guess he and the Falcon are one thing. No, the Falcon's its own thing. Okay. Um, God, buddy. Let's see what all this does. Get the Falcon's paralyzed. Okay. You, man. Paralyze you too. Whoa. Nice little AoE there. Well done, well done. Under my leadership, the Chipakwik are invincible. No moon. Nice, nice. I'm gonna kick that bird. Gah! Fight like warriors, but you lack the leadership to defeat us. He's right. Yellow Cloud's leadership stance increases the power regeneration rate of their entire party. If we can disrupt that stance, we can keep them from overpowering us. Oh, yeah, doing okay in this fight. Do any of us have a vantage that can stagger Yellow Cloud? I didn't think to sick my dog on Yellow Cloud, but yes, here we go. I'll tell Yellow Cloud, I guess. Yeah. 
<laughs> whoa, 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 what? What was that? Oh, it put me in sleep, okay. I'm still asleep. I don't know why my menu came up, Ben, if I'm asleep. Okay. Somebody wake the kid up. Yeah! Still sleeping. All right. Maybe I had an item. I don't know. I got this. I got this down to one. One person. Almost. I'll take this guy out. Try to wake up. Leadership, the Chicago Car Invincible. Well, they're all, they're all gone now, so I don't, I'm not sure about that statement. Yeah, you've said that. You've indicated as much. Well, all right. You fight well, but this is not over. Yes, we just let him go, I guess, just like everyone else. No consequences for any of these fights. Fifth vantage can be added. Nice. Lunar Crush. Lunar Crush sounds like a like a Mountain Dew variant. Nice. Poison Lash. Ooh, Poison Lash. Yeah, I like Poison Lash more than Whip Crack. Cool. Alright. Enough. We should not fight as Kenchado. That's what we were saying! You were... But Moondancer, you are too much like your Yonkwa. His foolish ways will bring destruction to our people. Sooner or later, you will see this. Well, all right. I didn't mean to upset the Chipakwick, but I needed that lumber to finally repair the railroad. If you do not intervene, Victor and I... Oh, I don't want to think about it. How can I ever thank you? Hey, why not? I, I wouldn't say this, but since I'm streaming, everybody, you know... I know you're a rich man, Mr. Comfort. Any financial assistance you could provide would defi definitely help us on our quest. I also have no money at all. Sadly, I've lost my wallet during the scuffle, but perhaps there's something else I can give you. I've had this hat since I came to Bronco County, all the way from Georgia a decade ago. In the South, we often say that hats keep the head court so the wild temperaments don't spill. I love this guy's walking around. What's up with this guy over here? Yes, sir. The hat makes the man. So even though you already got a hat, maybe wearing this one will change your disposition. In plain speak, I'm saying that wearing this different hat will give you a different set of advantages. So give it a try. Alright. I think out of all the party members, the kid could use different advantages, so I'll take it. And now Victor and I must continue on our way to Swalesville. Oh, the Victor, okay. Oh, you're the right. Oh, that's why you don't have a lot to say, because 
All you do is ride the carriage. If you're in town, step out of the train depot and say hello! <laughs> there it goes. There's no forward angle on that sprite. It's <laughs> just sliding out the side there. Wow, Moon. Lots of lots to digest, huh? Moon, what is it? Come on, Rosie. Yellow Cloud and his warriors. They had black paint on their faces. Oh, no. That means that they've killed someone recently. I didn't realize the situation had deteriorated so much. They were supposed to stop this war, but it's already started, hasn't it? One problem at a time. My stomach's rumbling. Could you hear it? Could you hear your stomach rumble? Can we get something to eat? Daylight's burning out. Found a place to stay the night and put together a plan. That was a quick day. I don't want to impose any more on the Talmages. Kid, don't you live near here? <laughs> Kid's farm's just over Boot Hill to the northeast. Oh, cool. Well, I guess I do. Okay, I'll put on a new hat. Do I have to talk to Rusty first? Well, that's interesting. Normally, I will allow you to set four different advantages, but you have gained enough levels that in a hat that you've opened extra space for even more advantages. This will give you more versatility so you can be better prepared for any situation. This is your fifth or sixth vantage. Oh, okay, but what's about the your new hat? There we go. I'm tired of doing the dog voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta admit, I like doing voices. The dog talking to me this much threw me. Put on a new hat, dog. Epic. Oh, and I need a I need a gun, which I don't have. Okay. Let's see what the other advantages are. I guess I can just bring them up. Take cover. Warning shot. Oh, so I can't really do. Okay, I can't really do anything with that until I get a gun. I'll give it to, uh... Can you put that one on? No. Can you put that one on? No. Alright. That's kind of weird. Here, take this hat that you can't use. <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> Growing up, bit by bit. Hats are kind of job classes, but... Change text speed. Calm down. I'm taking the long ways back to Smellville. Since you helped the Talmadge family, I'll heal any wounds you have for free. But next time, I'm charging ya. Sly dog look is so good. Ooh, sword boomerang. Doc's really cool, but like, I don't know. I'm gonna give you a sword. Rattlesnake's pretty funny. Okay. Or did I take that from you? No, you also have one. Nice. 
doesn't know that I continue to visit the grave of my first husband. He was killed by Tuco Delgado ten years ago while defending our family from the Saints Little Gang. But I feel guilty keeping my visits secret from my current husband. Why do you have to do that? Come on, you'll understand. What? Oh my goodness! Scavengers and decomposers? What in the heck is coming out of that skull? Smash, smash, smash. Oops, maybe I'll, ta maybe I'll take the sword out and they can do a smash. Hmm, which smash? That one? I think I should do that smash. Back to me, Rosie. <laughs> Flame arrow that bug. Zero, what? Get in our way again. Yeah, see that? Every now and then we do take out enemies. Rose's video advantage kick. That kick's all right. Keep cards. Cool. Well, that's a good thing. I, I like flame arrow quite a bit. Where did the whip go? Can I not put a whip back in your hand? What about literally a rattlesnake? Can you still do your stuff? Guess so, that was weird. Art and programming, not bad. We're yanked into this life without any say, screaming and screaming, then thrust into the ground when our time is up. Not much of a square deal for us, eh? But we choose how to live. We don't get to choose to be here or where to go, but we still get to decide what to do with the time in between. A lot of the bodies recovered from Ashwood were burned too badly to be recognized. So they just stuck them in the ground here rather than buried them proper at the church. Feels bad. Oh! Books! The flowers placed on tombstones have attracted these insects. Okay. One at a time. I guess, yeah, she's whipping with a rattlesnake. That's cool. Oh, the rattlesnake is the whip. Okay. Name of the whip. I got a little confused.
and let insects disturb the rest of the dead. Because you know how insects be disturbing the dead, you know what I mean? Hey, how come I have never... What? How are we so high level? Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess we started level 10 or something, or... Well, all right. Leveled up, everybody. Hit multiple targets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cold cock. Let's go back. After the attack on Ashwood, so many of us were killed and went missing. I think the bodies were never covered. I held out hope. I'll never forget the track with this. Man. Whale bow? Yeah. As you can imagine, I like discovering and equipping new bows. Hey! You look a serious fella. Many of the grave markers here have weathered and are now unreadable. Dying is one thing, but what happens when everyone forgets about you? And the name on your grave marker fades away. It's like you never existed. I don't want to see that. Nothing lasts. Not people, civilizations. The moon and the stars will one day come trashing down. See, kids? It's wise beyond his ears. But accepting the futility of it all is the ultimate freedom. I never get a response. I think most people just kind of shake their head at me whenever I make replies like that. If the war with the Japak continues, I fear that this entire hill will be filled with a brim with the dead unable to contain their tragedy. Wow. Mall's buried in cemetery grounds, St. Gonzalez. Pa says only gunslingers and ruffians are buried here at Boot Hill. What's the exclamation point? Does he have more to say? Or... When I kick the bucket, I want to be wearing my boots. I want to be buried here at Boot Hill. Don't tell my Pa say that. Lawmen and desperados, heroes and villains. In life, they fought and killed each other. But beneath Boot Hill here, they all rest side by side for eternity. Hey, look, it's me! <laughs> There's a rumor Colonel Middleton is working on a counterattack against the Japaki right now. Just got in some new artillery at Fort Chat Hennessy. Can't we all just get along? And how come you were. How come the nun is the one with all the military intel? Oh no. These ravens think that the cemetery belongs to them. I mean, you know, belong to us. Let's get a cool. Get some specials on there. Yeah, get some specials. No. Boink. They're ravens. Their home is the graves of men. Nice one. Are you gonna do Dixie special or not, man? gun attacks hit multiple targets. The shoot, not a small gun attack? Man. 
Whoa! There you go, you're poisoned. Yeah. I got, it. I got it. Stumbled. Got him. Why do ravens gather at cemeteries? I said it. I thought she was gonna tell a joke. Unlock the Vantage Southern Drawl. Chance to cause slow in every other battle participant. Nice. Oh, I didn't mean to put it there. Cool, cool. Oh, but like for real. What's up, Jones? <laughs> Glenn Tanner. Why are there fences around a graveyard? Because people are dying to get. Okay, see, he had the joke. Where do grave diggers get their coffee? Anybody? Hmm? Hmm? At the burial grounds! Ah! Gotta keep your chin up even when you're six feet under. Here we go. Oh, I'm from the church at San Gonzalez where there's another cemetery there. We are burying the dead during the Eve of Skulls. You should join us there. Alright, we're to give the kid a perk. Perks? What? Perks. And I think there's the controllers. Pick who controls what when you're fighting. Which is pretty fun. I gotta play this co-op with Troop. I don't know if I'll stream that, but I definitely gotta play this co-op with somebody. Right, here we go. Got a, got a feeling a title's coming on. There it is. There it is, folks. Just in time for a nice two-hour stream. What system am I? I'm playing this on the Nintendo Switch right now. So I'll be able to take this game with me wherever I go. Benjamin Rubak. Oh, look at the town in the background. Cool, cool. Is this... Oh, my. What's... Templeton Hill. Mm. Part of my house, right? Do with all these treasures. I wonder if there's crafting. Any fish want to fight? Huh? Huh? It's Winsdale. Home is just to the south. Okay, sorry. Didn't say what was south, but all right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> I'm a horse. <gasps> Who's that? Oh, it's my mom. Well, there you are, son. And you've brought your friends. Mom. I say you again, Miss Hal. Don't mean to impose, but you got some extra beds for us to hunker down for the night? Of course. I'll get out the extra blankets. I was just about to start fixing supper. My daddy taught me better manners than that. You just relax, Mrs. Hal, and I'll handle the cooking tonight. 
It's like, but I, I, was, I already made the... Okay. Kid, you'll help out too, rat. My name really is Kid. <laughs> now the rest of you come on in and cool your heels for a spell. So that's my nod. That's when he nods. Okay. So I guess that was my dad up on the hill. Oh, okay. Spun shirt. Nice. Whoa. Really? That's worse than what I have? Okay. Uh, then I won't wear it? Some kerosene. Nice. Please read all the text in the lady voice, please. I will not. Where's this picture of? Portrait of Templeton Helm. Oh. Um. You'll need to look around to find some ingredients for Rosie to cook a meal tonight. What do you think we should eat? Maybe you should talk to your friends, find out what they'd like to have. That's the only hospitable course to take. Well, what they, you know. Making them dinner, and they'll eat what we make. We're ready to cook up a storm, but still need some ingredients. Find out what everybody wants to eat and gather up the ingredients around the farm. I, I mean, I got some apples. And, okay. for dinner. I like your home. It's very peaceful here. Kid, there was something I was hoping to show you. While I was away, I learned a technique that may help us. You could have shown me this on the road. I mean to show you, I need you to find me certain reagents. I'm told it should work with a fang, a stinger, and a scale. Please try and find this thing before dinner. Okay. things in there, I wonder? Okay. Grab this bottle, whatever it is, okay. No! I know! I'm just looking at the pot here. Okay. okay. Can I do the horse with the red one? <laughs> this may be the last decent meal we'll have in some time. If you're taking suggestions, I prefer food that tastes sweet or savory. All right. Nothing sour or spicy, if you don't mind. Doc, I would have... I would have... Oh, yeah. These jack hairs are too skittish for me to hit. Can't get close enough. Maybe you can sneak up on them with this. Try approaching the jack hair from behind so it doesn't see you. If you succeed, you'll start the battle with 50% power. Oh, yeah, okay. Haha! Is it just gonna be me? It's just me! There we go. Pew pew! Wow, that was more than I. <laughs> and I got an eyeball. It's great. I think I think I killed those jackrabbits. Oh, definitely. Level up with you, psycho fish!
Ja. Wee oui, oui. With just oh, I guess I got all that experience because it's just me. So I'm like sealing it all. Beagle growl will cause an enemy to flee from battle. Oh, fun. Okay. Yeah, Dixie Special's not really working for me. Seriously. The location of my dog is very strange to me. I go some places and I find it there, but then I can also summon it in battle, I guess. So no sour, no spicy. Is this something right here? No. Yeah. There's your thumbnail. Yeah. Oops, I don't know if I did that then. Doing all sorts of crazy stuff. I'm down, little Jack Rabbit. Man, if you know me at all, I am tempted to just stay here and kill Jack Rabbits for a while. We are yeah, we are 12 minutes away from the end of the stream, but okay. Well, where's the where is everything? Should I kill more Jack Rabbits? Where did, like, the other... What else you gotta say? Eggs in the barn, and that old goat surely has some cheese. Okay. You can harvest the crops in the field, too. Oh, all right. All right. Yeehaw. Nice. Whoa, that is a creepy looking thing. Gotcha. Sinister Cobra's gobbling up baby chicks. Oh, oh no, I've been poisoned. I'm to scare him off with my beagle. I did! Yay! Dirt Maraca. Good job, Beagle. Nice. Oh, you go downstairs. Oh. They already had a fang. Nice, though. Get a stinger, alright. We're getting somewhere. Ooh, again. Kill you right proper this time. I snuck up on him. That's right. This is for all them baby chicks. Little, little battle animations down there. There we go. 
A pick you! I created him too! And he dropped all those things as well. Did he steal them from me or what? <laughs> now we can go talk to Moon. I'm a clod hopper. I got the stuff. Got those reagents you asked for. Why do you need these things? Thank you, kid. I'll show you after dinner. Don't you still have some ingredients to find? Okay, so savory is the way to go. Is that everything? Never hurts to get more cheese. Or not. He's like, I got no more cheese! Alright. Alright, Rosie. What's the deal, man? Can I put him on the table or put him in this what? Oh, you set up camp. No. Some eggs in the barn. I got the eggs in the okay. Alright. Get more eggs. No, the snake is back. I mean, like, oh well, I gotta fight this guy. There was another door in the barn on the right. Okay. Just gonna have to fight this snake again. Get a little bit more XP. Oh darn! I mean, I didn't search for the side door because it's a barn full of chickens that had eggs. <laughs> and I grabbed them and I'm like, no, 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 we need you to get eggs. I don't believe you. that cobra's gonna be right back causing trouble in this barn, you hear? But I got XP, so I ain't complaining. Sad. Sad door. That door in the house? Right it's that door inside. This door that I just walked through, my mom's bedroom, which is locked. Can't go through there, and that's my bedroom. Inside the barn, there's a door to the right. Okay, sorry. One more egg I need to grab, I guess. Funny, I did not see that door. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Um, as you say. Thank goodness I found this room. <laughs> Not a thing. I wonder what that, uh, that little icon down there is. I wonder if I need healing of any type. Nope. I think after I killed this thing, I didn't... Not to... Not to grind. I'm not sure we don't mind it. Maybe I didn't talk to this one last chicken here. Sometimes you just gotta shoot some snakes! I'm also not a fan of snakes, so I certainly don't mind... abilities now in Panama. Close to it. Man, that snake just comes back every time. I totally would! Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you just fight this snake like a thousand times? <laughs> so tempting. To the, the field, man. I got all the. There's no other stuff in the field, right? I walk behind these apparently now. Yeah, dude, my mom's tripping. The moon said, well, we can do our thing later. Show you after dinner. Do you still have ingredients? Fine. No, I don't. That is all she has to say. We are coming up on the end of the stream. Maybe this is the, this is the end of the game, folks. Have fun. We're ready to cook up. Okay. Mom says go get ingredients. My mom's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Is there more to say? No, you were gonna say something off, Mom. Finished gathering greens. Ugh. More cheese, I guess? Yeah, maybe go back and talk to Doc. Boy, this is not the part of the game I thought was really gonna... <laughs> really gonna, really gonna slow things down. that knife and use a hand weapon attack to defeat the enemy. They'll drop more materials than normal. You may also need to change your vantages so you can attack with a hand weapon. Oh, okay. Maybe I need to kill some rabbits? I don't know, folks, but it's 5 p.m. There it is, Booty Hill Bounties. <laughs> I hope you had a jolly time. I had a jolly time playing it. 
Um, uh, yeah, I will be uh, a note if any of you are tuning in and just hanging out. Yeah, good crunch. Uh, if any of you are hanging out uh, on my Animal Crossing Island Hops, we're going to have our schedule go up on Monday, but that will be Wednesday. Wednesday at 6 p.m., I believe. Um, Thursday, we're going to shoot the podcast early. It's, it will be my first podcast, hosting the podcast in Kyle's absence, and so I want to have a little more time that evening to work on that, and so we were are, are bumping up the podcast shoot that night and may do that in the future. Um, I might find another time, a permanent time for my Animal Crossing Island hop. It was fun to hop around this little western world for a while. Um, you might do some co-op with this in the future. I might come back to this game someday. But um, this was something that uh, thank you to the crew over at uh, Boot Hill Bounties and uh, look like a very, a very short development team that put this game together. Um, but uh, I'm getting a big kick out of it. And now that I've discovered that I can literally go back and forth into that barn and just kill that snake over and over, I plan to grind for the next couple hours. I will see y'all down the trail. Thank you for watching. Take care.